Hey everyone, and welcome to another engineering lesson where we will be covering various sections that focus on fluid properties. This video will be a general introduction to fluids. With following lessons, we will review pressure, stress, viscosity, and even surface tension and capillarity. So for starters, what is a fluid? A fluid is a substance in either the liquid or gas phase. Fluids cannot support shear, and they deform continuously to minimize applied shear forces. In fluid mechanics, a fluid is modeled at a, as a continuum. This, that is a substance that can be divided into infinitesimally small volumes with properties that are continuous functions of the entire volume. For the infinitesimally small volume, which is the symbol delta V, or change in volume, there's also delta M, which is also known as the infinitesimal mass, as well as delta W, which is the infinitesimal weight. Density, also called mass density of a fluid, is its mass per unit volume. The density of a fluid in a liquid form is usually given, known in advance, or even obtained from tables. For the nomenclature, we will have three variables. M, which is the mass, and its units is in kilograms. V is the volume, and its units are typically meters cubed. And lastly, for density, which is the symbol or Greek symbol, rho, and it is in kilograms per meters cubed. So to calculate the density of a fluid, you can determine the value by dividing the mass by volume, as shown here. So that kind of makes sense because with densities, units being kilograms over meters cubed, that is equal to basically the units mass over volume, with that being kilograms over meters cubed. Specific volume is the reciprocal of density and is typically measured in kilograms per meters cubed. The specific volume, which is the epsilon Greek symbol, the formula to calculate the specific volume is 1 over density, which is just meters cubed over kilograms. The specific weight is the Greek symbol gamma, which is known as the unit weight of a substance per unit volume. Specific weight is an absolute property of a substance since it depends on the local gravitational field. To calculate specific weight, there are several formulas that can be used and simplified. The specific weight can be calculated from the change in weight over the change in volume, or you can reduce the weight with mass times gravity divided by volume. From that, you can also go one step further and calculate the specific weight by multiplying density by gravity. Specific gravity is given the symbol SG for short. It is the dimensionless ratio of a fluid's density to a standard reference density. The liquid and solids, the reference is the density of pure water, which is approximately 1,000 kilograms per meters cubed over the normal ambient temperature range. The temperature at which density of the water should be evaluated is not standardized, so some small variations in the reference density is possible. There are two tables you can reference for the properties of water and SI in customary US units, respectively. Now let's take a look into some example problems to finish up this lesson. For our first example, the density of a gas is 1.5 kilograms per meters cubed. The specific weight of the gas is most nearly what? Pause the video here if you would like to solve the problem on your own before I walk you through the solution. So we are asked to find the specific weight. So let's write out that formula, where the specific weight is given the Greek symbol gamma and is equal to density times gravity. Now let's walk through what we know and have been given in this word problem. We are given the density of the gas in the word problem, which is 1.5 kilograms per meters cubed, and the gravity in the appropriate units, which is 9.81 meters per second squared. With these two variables now determined, we can plug them into the equation and calculate the result by multiplying those two together. From that, we will calculate a specific weight to be 14.715 kilograms per second squared times meters squared, which will round to 15 newton per meters cubed, since kilograms over second squared can also be changed to newtons over meters. So, for the answer, we are selecting B, which is 15. Point zero newtons per meters cubed. For our second example, we are told a fluid has a density of 860 kilograms per meters cubed. 
The specific gravity of the fluid is most nearly what? Pause the video here if you would like to solve the problem on your own before I walk you through the solution. From the word problem, we are asked to find the specific gravity of the fluid. So let's start by writing out the formula I showed you for the specific gravity. With us being given the density, we will use the formula that includes the density, which is specific gravity equaling the density of the fluid divided by the density of water. We are given the density of the fluid, which is 860 kilograms per meters cubed. We also know from available tables and lessons that I previously introduced that density of water is roughly 1,000 kilograms per meters cubed. By dividing 860 by 1,000, we calculate the specific gravity to be 0 0.86, and we actually won't have any units since they cancel out um, since it's considered the ratio. So the answer for this problem is C, 8.6 or 0.86. That concludes this video on fluid properties, where I introduced you to the topic of fluids and some fundamental equations and topics. I hope to see you guys in the next video where I will be reviewing the next topics of the sections, which is pressure. Please consider subscribing to stay up to date when I upload more content to my channel. See ya.